My favourite thing about Spaniels is they look cute. <laughs> They've got loads of energy, and particularly Elsa with the collie cross as well, is just super clever. So teaching her anything is really easy. They're the companion that just has it all. They are just such a lovely dog. What I love about a Spaniel is that they're so fast and uh, you can walk really, really far with her, like hours and hours. Then when you get home, she's just ready to go again. They are so bright, they're incredibly capable. You can train them so easily. It's so rewarding to see your puppy responding. Spaniels are a fantastic breed for an active family that want to do lots of exercise with their dog. For anyone thinking about getting a Springer puppy, I would thoroughly recommend it. Just be aware of how much work is involved in not just the early days, but for the lifetime of the dog. They do need a lot of exercise, and it's a real commitment, you know, and they need exercising in the rain, <laughs> and the snow, and the wind, as well as on a nice sunny day. Spaniels are one of those working gun dog breeds that need so much exercise, so much input, so much games and play, but they love to be with their families, they love to work with their owners, but new owners are often just really surprised by just how much exercise a spaniel needs. And they do far better as semi-rural or rural dogs than they do as city dogs. I think it's super important to choose the right breed for your lifestyle. Quite active myself, keen cyclist, a keen hiker. To be able to have a breed that's able to keep up with those kind of activities is actually a really lovely thing to do. When she was younger, well, I've been out with her for six hours. You know, they're not for the faint-hearted, but great, lovely, loyal breed. As you can see, he needs to be kept occupied, otherwise he occupies himself. <laughs> My favourite game to play with Elsa is definitely whistle training because she's so good at it. They never stop. You can never tie them out. Even at this age, they are always on the go. They are always looking for something to do, to be investigating. They're so curious in nature. Elsa's needs have changed over the years. As she's got older, she has calmed down. We were really keen to make sure that she got the right nutrition. If I could change anything about the breed, it would be the ability to jump fences. <laughs> because I have spent a fortune on fencing my garden. My garden fence is five foot high and it's, uh, we're already struggling to contain him. There is no doubt that all the way through your Spaniel's life, they're going to be active. They go from being the giddy, crazy as lessons that will run around all over the place and want to do all the things all the time to hopefully being more settled, being a bit more mature. So while they may settle down as they get older, that doesn't mean that you can ignore them. They need all the same exercise and input as they did when they were silly, giddy teenagers. How would I describe Bruce in three words? Energetic, beautifully natured. So intelligent, uh, unbelievably intelligent. I mean, he's just on a, he's just on another scale. He really is. Any intelligent working dog needs to be trained because they're just so smart. There's something just really special about Elsa. We really do have a bond. I think a lot of that is to do with her being a rescue dog. She's really clingy because she just loves being with her owners and she loves exploring. We call her Princess Elsa. She really does everything on her own terms. Just such a lovely temperament. She's just quiet and gentle until you get her outside <laughs> and there's something to chase, that's a completely different story. <laughs> One of the most important things to remember with Spaniels is when you are out and about, they do tend to be really gung-ho and leap into hedges and bushes and into the undergrowth. So when you bring them back, just make sure you check them over for things that might have got stuck in their paws or in their feathers, and especially in their ears. Spaniels have got these great heavy ears, and it's very easy for grass seeds to get in there or for other foreign bodies, but also they're heavy and they lie really close to their heads, and so quite often it's easy for infections to get in there and for you not to notice them. So keep checking paws, keep checking feathers, and especially keep checking ears. I think our other dog is a bit of an inconvenience to her. She doesn't get all the attention. I think Elsa, um, yeah, Elsa would like to rule the world. Yeah. <laughs>